Jennifer asked, my sister is getting married in November and is going to be getting married in a small backyard. I have a D3400, an 18 to 55 millimeter lens and a 70 to 300. I'm wondering if those are going to be enough. I seen your video with how little you take to shoot, so it kind of made me feel good and relieved because there's so much out there for questions, uh, for cameras. So guys, this is a great question. She's basically asking, hey Jeremy, is two lenses gonna be enough? And since she's beginner shooter, I'm gonna explain to you why it could be or it could not. And it's kind of a gray zone answer, but I'm gonna explain my thought process behind it. When I first started shooting weddings, I had eight lenses on me every single wedding for the first two years of my career. I was able to experiment with the 35 millimeter, a 50 millimeter, an 85, a 24 to 70, a 24 to 105, a 7200, uh, a 12 millimeter fisheye lens. Uh, I, I had a 24 millimeter lens. I had, I had basically every focal length and I was able every single day trying on different lenses throughout the day. Now this does two things for you as a wedding photographer when you're first starting out. Number one, it allows you to be equipped with any focal length that you might need for a wedding day. Need a wide lens? You got it. Need a 7200? You got it. And everything in between. Number two, it allows you to find your wedding photography style and what lenses you love the most. Uh, what I cherish about doing that is I was able to see, all right, an 85 prime does really well in this type of lighting or this type of day or this type of need. Uh, for a ceremony. Oh, the ceremony is a lot larger. It's a big church, 7200, let's go. Oh, uh, I really like the 35, I really like the 50. Ooh, now I'm learning that I don't like the 50 millimeter. It's a little too tight for everything. That's awesome. So her question is, is an 18 to 55 millimeter and a 7300 a good combo? Yes and no. Yes, as you've gone through the era of mastering all the lenses, learning that works for, works, works best for you, I learned eventually that a 7200 and a 35 millimeter can save me on a wedding day and I can do it all. However, I've shot wedding days only on a 50 millimeter before. Uh, I've shot wedding days with everything. So I know what it takes to shoot a wedding properly with everything. And then I really honed down to my two lenses because I mastered everything first. Now, since you, this might be your first wedding and you're going with an 18 to 55, that covers a lot. That's a good range. And a 7200 is good for zooming in, but I think what's lacking here is a nice prime lens that gets that bokeh sharp, awesome photos that's intimate, makes you feel like you're in there. And I think a 35, a 50, or even an 85 could be good to rent for the weekend. And that's the third point. Definitely rent lenses for weddings. If you were getting paid to do these shoots, it's awesome to be able to rent a lens you never get to use before you buy it and own it forever. Uh, to experiment, see how it's like on a weekend, see how you like it, or ask to borrow from a friend, or hire second shooters that have gear and use some of their gear. Uh, so that's what I'd recommend. So my answer is yes, this, these two lenses could be enough, but I actually disagree. I think you're missing one lens, and that's some sort of prime lens that has a shallow depth of field that clients go bananas for. Uh, the 1855 is okay for family photos. That's probably what I'd recommend. The 7300 is great for the ceremony and maybe speeches if it's outside. But I do agree that uh, I think, you know, for first dance photos, you might need a prime lens in case it's low light. That's the thing. You don't know what you're gonna be delivered on a wedding day. I've handpicked two lenses that are upgraded versions of what you're going for and it has a low f-stop. So in case I need to open up that aperture and let light in because there's little light, I can do that. Uh, you can't do that with your 1855 and you can't do that with your 7300 because that's probably an f4 to 5.6 lens. So I would say, Go rent a lens, one more lens into your mix. I'd probably suggest a 35 millimeter because it's something you can rock on for the ceremony. Uh, it's something you can rock on for the first dances and then put on those other two lenses. And it's just gonna up your game and make your photos look more professional. And as you become a better wedding photographer and you've tried all the lenses, then you can go to a wedding with only two lenses because you've mastered all the rest. You know what all the rest do and don't do and you've picked out your favorite things. I had a phase where I shot only with a 50 millimeter for the first four years of my career. I regret doing that because 35, if I didn't experiment with a 35 earlier, I would have figured out that that's an amazing lens. And maybe I'm being complacent right now and I need to experiment again. And then two years from now, I'll be like, Jeremy, why were you shooting with only a 35? The point I'm saying is go out and experiment. And then when you're really comfortable with the two lenses, show up with two. But if you're not comfortable with the two you're going, rent two more, 
and have that backup just in case. So that's my two thoughts on it. Thank you for commenting your question. Anybody else that has questions, comment them below. I'd be happy to answer them. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Jeremy Daly and I look forward to talking to you later. Peace out.